What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate I Device Vids, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys an update video on the current jailbreak situation for iOS 7, iOS 6.1.3, 6.1.4, and 6.1.5. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the iOS 7.0.4 update. And Apple released it a little while ago. Basically what it does is it fixes a problem some people were having with FaceTime calls making them on their device. And it is safe to update to if you were already on iOS 7 and waiting for the upcoming iOS 7 jailbreak, it is safe to update to. However, I would not update by going into settings, general, and software update. I would update through iTunes, and that's just to verify that your device is running at its best performance, and of course, that it is compatible with the jailbreak, because updating over the air through the settings, general, software update, Previously, there have been problems with doing that and then attempting to jailbreak. So just to make sure that your device will be compatible with the jailbreak, you want to plug it into iTunes on your computer and update it through there. But if you guys already updated over the air, I would just recommend that you plug your device into iTunes and actually restore it if you already used the over-the-air method just to make sure that your device, again, is compatible with the jailbreak. And on the same day that Apple released that, they also released iOS 6.1.5 just for the iPod Touch 4th generation. And that fixes the same FaceTime bug that was affecting people on iOS 7, just fixes it in iOS 6 as well. And that is also safe to update to if you're waiting for the iOS 6.1.3 and now 6.1.5 jailbreak. I hate snow said it was fine to update and it's not going to harm your ability to jailbreak. And again, I hate snow and WinOCM were the ones working on that jailbreak and they said it was fine to update to 6.1.5 for the iPod Touch 4th generation. It's just a minor update, that was the only thing that it fixed, just like 7.0.4. Apple also did release iOS 7.1 Beta 1 to developers a little while ago, and basically what this brings is a few new features and just some bug fixes for iOS 7. And MuscleNerd actually said to stay away from it because of course it is buggy, it is still in beta, and also because you know they haven't checked if the jailbreak is still compatible and all the exploits that they have. And I'm pretty sure that it probably will be fine However, just stay away from it now because, of course, they're not going to check until the final release. So when it is finally released to the public, they will check to make sure everything works. And, of course, I'm sure they'll update you. However, just for now, because it's beta and they haven't checked, you should just stay away from 7.1. However, if you have already updated, of course, you can still downgrade to 7.0.4. Just restore your device because Apple is still signing that. However, just stay away if you're just a normal user. Stay away from 7.1. And of course, I'll keep you updated on the situation for the jailbreak and of course the release of that firmware. Now, about the ETA estimated time of arrival, there is none, but trust me, they are working very hard on the jailbreak. Just stay tuned, and of course, I'll keep you updated about any news, and they will as well. But again, just, you know, for the ETA, there is nothing. They're still looking for exploits, probably still trying to piece everything together. So just stay tuned and be patient. Now about the 6.1.3, 6.1.4, and 6.1.5 jailbreak ETA, there actually was one set a little while ago for the beginning of 2014, so it would be released before the beginning of 2014. However, that's just an ETA. Again, it's not a definite release, and I Hate Snow has said that they have run into a few problems. And the problems were that some of the exploits in their 6.1.3, 6.1.4, and 6.1.5 jailbreak also worked with iOS 7. And the reason that they're not releasing it as it is, they have all the exploits. However, again, because some of them work in iOS 7, they're not going to burn those exploits, making it harder to jailbreak iOS 7. So they're just looking for some more exploits. And worst comes to worst, they're going to release it at the same time that the evaders release their iOS 7 jailbreak, so no exploits are harmed or burned. But again, bottom line, both of these jailbreaks are being worked on very hard. And just stay tuned for more news, and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys later.